Good morning, good morning everyone. I hope you guys are having a great day so far. If you're up early like me. It is 5.50. I've been up since 3.30. So, I'm an early bird, you guys. I don't really sleep much. Plus, my hip and my leg was bothering me last night. Um, went to sleep, woke up, and it was still bothering me. So, um, yeah. But it's better now um, since I've gotten up, started moving around. But I wanted to come and show you guys some things that I found yesterday. So, about two weeks ago, um, sorry, you might hear my table making some noise here if I lean on it. But um, about two weeks ago, I found a post on um, Facebook and I don't know if I was just randomly um, on Marketplace or if it was just something that popped up on my news feed but um, I ended up you know looking through the post or whatever and I saw um, a picture it, it was like four or five big totes of um yarn so I clicked on it to kind of see what the location was or whatnot and it is literally 30 minutes from me um, on my way to visit my family um, because they stay like an hour and some change away from me so I um, I ended up contacting the lady to see what the hours and the days were for the thrift shop and I will tell you you guys I have always seen this um, house um, because I think somebody did used to live in it <laughs> at one point um, and maybe you know at some point in time you know, I think the church next to it or something either purchased the house or something like that. But they use it as a thrift shop now. And like I said, I have always gone by this place. Didn't pay any attention to it at all. Um, because it's kind of off to, on a side road, pretty much. And I always, you know keep straight on the main street when I go through this town so um yeah I contacted the lady she told me what they had or whatever at that moment and she sent me the address so I was like you know yeah that's right you know off of the main street that I take and so I was like I'm gonna have to stop by and check it out so last week I couldn't get there. They are only open two days, um, which is Wednesday and Saturdays from ten to three. And I was working on those days, and um, yeah, I just couldn't make it. So um, yesterday, my oldest daughter and I ended up going out, and I contacted the lady like early that morning. Um, and who put the post up and she told me you know that they were open because i wanted to make sure they were going to be open um because it was wednesday so just in case anything changed i just reached out and said hey you know will you guys be open today at your regular hours so she got back with me so i was like cool that'll work so i went in and um Mind you, this place is set up like a house. I mean, rooms and things like that. And it was kind of tight because they had a lot of stuff. Um, baby toys, clothes for babies up to toddlers that I know of. They had adult clothes in there as well. They had jewelry, antique dishes, um, books, and 
just random miscellaneous stuff. They had everything. I did and I didn't even go through the whole area. Um but yeah, I went in, told the lady what I was looking for that was sitting in the front, and she directed me to um the room that was like right at the door. Mind you, I had never went in this place before. So went in and she told me that the whole corner where the yarn was, um, it was pretty much full, you know, prior to me coming. But um, I guess since that post was posted, a lot of people probably came through, checked it out, and got the good stuff that I saw in the post. Um, but it was fine. I did get some things. Um, I got some knitting needles, um, which I'm going to show you. I got this case here, which has different kinds of cable needles. I have stitch markers, all different kinds. Um, row counters and the point protectors for your knitting needles. And these little... Um, linings here they actually come out and these are some extra ones um i was thinking maybe um i'm trying to get back in to practicing you know working with jewelry or beads and stuff like that and doing some jewelry making so this would probably be good uh, for like those little tiny seed beads and stuff like that um, so I may or may not still keep these items in here because like I said, they have these little, things here, they, they come out. So, um, I might, like I said, I may or may not keep all of these items in here but yeah um and this was like two dollars i think i spent a total of nine dollars in there um all of the yarn was either 50 cents depending on the size um if it was like a partial skein or like small like the little cakes and stuff like that um those were like 50 cents if it was a full skein and i guess had like a label on it or whatever i think that was like a dollar or so um the knitting needles i do not remember they were somewhere between 25 and 50 cents um so I'm going to show you what else I got. These are the knitting needles. And of course, I wiped everything down. Um, just to be on the safe side. Because I did find some animal hair. Which I'm not um, not too picky about. But, you know, I went ahead and I wiped everything down. Um, so, I got a 16 inch size number 8. Uh, 16 inch 11 circular knitting needle I have a 36 inch 10 and a half and a 29 inch 10 and a half and as you can see it's the clover brand I do have um, a couple of knitting needles in this brand um, I have the double pointed needles um excuse me in a few different sizes um i want to get a complete set but sorry my daughter is up and she's on the couch <laughs> but um yeah i want to get a complete set of the double pointed needles um so i have to look through see what i have and see what i don't have but yeah, I went ahead and I grabbed these because I thought they would be really, really useful to me. 
at some point because I want to try to I know I crochet a lot and crochet crocheting is my first love uh, when it comes to crafting um, and I'm trying to get back into knitting more as well um, so I can learn some different stitches and stuff um, but yeah outside of the clover needles I got some Susan Bates Velocity um, I took them out of the package like I said I wiped everything down um, and washed I washed these out um, because it was like some animal hair or whatnot in the um, inside of the package just a little bit not not a lot but I just went ahead and washed everything out um, so I'm leaving them here at my kitchen table in the sun by the window letting everything dry and air out but I got two different sizes I already have a, one set of these which is like a 10 or a 10 and a half so I got a US size 9 yep a US size 9 which is a 5.5 millimeter um this is a 29 inch and i got a u.s size 13 which is a 29 inch as well so that's a u.s size 13 which is nine millimeters um so yeah and I want to, at some point, I want to try to knit a um, sweater. I have a um, dress that I had actually started making years and years ago. It's probably been like four, maybe five years. Um, but I've had to frog it a few times and then I just hadn't worked on it anymore since then so um, I want to try to get back and working on that as well but yeah I thought these knitting needles would come in handy um, for whenever I do like make a sweater or something like that um, but I'm going to show you the yarn that I got Two of these, I'm not quite sure what the brand is. One, I have a possibility of knowing what it is, but I'm not quite sure. But this looks like the um, Karen, excuse me, one second. <clears throat> okay, I'm back. But, um, really pretty color. But this looks like the Karen, um, party yarn, I believe. Let's see if I can look it up real quick. Yeah. This is what this looks like to me because of the shimmer in it so my plan is to make a ear warmer with this one I might work on that today too um, this one could be a couple of different things but it's very very soft and it has a nice little sheen to it nice lime green color um, so I got Lion Brand Wool Ease Thick and Quick. This is, um, this was the only one I saw. I wish I had another one, but, um, I'll probably end up buying another one, um, if I don't happen to come across any online, but this is, um, Marble. And I've never worked with the uh, Woolies before. 
So, um, I'm really thinking about making a hat with this one. Yep. And it's a chunky yarn or super bulky yarn, which is a number six. And my last two that I got are the Patton's Classic Wool. Um, and these, um, yeah, Patton Classic Wool Merino. These are three and a half ounces or 100 grams. Um, this one is called Indigo, which is a dark blue. And this one is called Forest, which is almost like a um, camouflage type color. So yeah, those were all of the yarns that I got. I didn't get a whole lot. Um, and you know what? I actually took in a bag. Um... Actually, the, the Lion Brand Santa bag that I um, got, I actually took that in. And I didn't even think nothing else of using it once I got in there. <laughs> so, um, I just grabbed what I could hold at the moment. But I do want to go back. Um, like I said, they had everything everything that you can think of um, out there and I don't know why but I've have never well no I'm not gonna say I've never but it's been a while um, that since I've gone to like a thrift store or secondhand store or whatnot and um, did some shopping for craft supplies you know, um, but this was a great buy, a great find, I would say. Um, I will be going back, so hopefully if they get another big shipment or big donation, I would say, um, of some yarn or craft supplies, I will probably be taking a look and seeing what they have, so I'm going to keep a close eye on that. Um, so with that being said, you guys, um, I don't have a whole lot that I'm going to be doing today. Like I said, I, I will be going back to visit my family because I have to do something for a family member. Um, yesterday was like one of those days I was like, I gotta get this kid out of the house, you know? Mm -hmm. Um, just because she's been on the computer a lot more because I downloaded the game for her and I don't mind her playing the game but I'm like yeah you need some exercise you need to burn off some energy you know so um she went out um I had two younger cousins that's in close age range um to my daughter so um Today, I'm going to get her back out there, and hopefully she'll tire herself out again because she fell asleep in the car yesterday. She was tired. So, um, and maybe when I'm down, I'm going to take my craft supplies with me and um, try to work on some stuff. Um, I might try to hang around and see my... Um, parents because I haven't seen them in a few weeks yeah so I mean I've talked to them on the phone but I haven't seen them um and they get off work late in the evening so um yeah I might hang around for a little bit today but yeah um I head back to work tomorrow and work through the weekend so yeah I'm, I'm I'm already ready to get off Sunday I'm ready I don't want to rush my time away but 
I'm just ready <laughs> to get this weekend over with, you know. So, um, I am going to try to go ahead and pack my stuff, get everything that I need, because after my kids, well, after my oldest daughter get up anyways, I'm going to get her situated, get my youngest situated, and I do have... Yeah, I have to make one stop before I actually get on the road good. But, um, hopefully, hopefully today I'll be able to work on some stuff while I'm out. Um, so I can keep myself occupied. So, you guys, enjoy your morning. Enjoy the rest of your day. Um, have a good night. Whatever time you're watching this video, please feel free to give me a thumbs up. Um, hit the subscribe button. Leave a comment down below if you wish. And you guys have a blessed day and I will see you guys soon. Bye-bye.